Unsafe keep out. Oh, chapter eight. Those more chapters. Three more chapters. Let's stay together. Too safe if you're together. Friend. Don't stay away. Friend, 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 friend. Stop, stop, stop. Use these. Get the hell out of here. Now. I knew he was a friend. Oh, I'm so good at reading it. People telling when they're not meanies. Oh, I'm really good at that. Use these. I never have seen this game in my life. Outside of the commercial we watched? Alright, right, right, let's go. And I honestly right. thought- Flares, okay. I honestly thought that they were in an abandoned- I thought they did all- I thought it was three people decide to stay in an abandoned hotel. That was my impression of the game from the commercial we watched. Uh, I gotta be real with you. Uh, that's not even close. <laughs> Calgary? Billy? <laughs> Meh. If anyone's gonna die, it's gonna be her. And jump on that one. I don't know what it was. Uh, at this point, my ears have been so assaulted by jump scares that they just have zero value. I think they're <laughs> working to the, or they're getting to be negative value where they're just like not even scary at all, and they're becoming just silly. Like, oh yeah, just loud noise in my ear and a thing pops up. Haven't had that experience five thousand times before. Nothing actually happens when it happens, though. Did I scare? Boo! Yo, classic. Am I gonna throw the flares at the demon monsters that live in the caves? The birds in the very beginning. It's Golem? We're freaked out about Golem? Totem? That's not what happened. Didn't even. 
I didn't even move. One time I forget square. Except uh, it wasn't the one time. I always forget square. Screaming I, bloody are murder. You, okay? you totally won. There was something. Where's Matt? Come sit down. Sit down. Something's out there. Did you there. guys split up? A monster. It's a Wait. monster. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I, I don't feel anything. I just need to calm down. It was moving so damn fast. What? I just had to get away. Away from what? Uh, there was this this thing, whatever it was. And, and, and you can relax. Josh was messing with You're us. Not listening to me. Can you tell us exactly what happened? I am trying to tell you. We were climbing up the tower and it... It fell. The whole tower just fell right into the mines. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What mines? There are these mine shafts all over running under everything. When the tower fell, we ended up down there. I don't understand. The tower fell? How'd it fall? I, I was walking down there in the mines and it was dark and I found this pile and... Doesn't and answer either head. question. Wait, what? That's head. I found oh it. Oh my god. What the fuck? Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. I think they fell down there. Oh, Jesus Christ. But the worst part is I don't think that Hannah died, like, from the fall, not right away. Wait, what? What do you mean? I don't know. I feel like she was down there, like, starving to death for weeks when we were all up here looking for her, and we had no idea. Jeez, that's horrible. Listen, in... In the tower, there was there was a radio, and, and I got through to someone, but then that was right when the tower collapsed. Em, you made it. Oh, God, Yeah, yeah, Mike. barely. What about Matt? We're trying to figure that out. Yeah, Where's the there other was guy? monster that was chasing her. She's all messed up, guys. Huh? Emily? Hey, Em? Whoa. Wait, what? Oh, Josh. Jess? It's not Jess. Sorry, man, but who is it? I don't know. We should check it out. I got your back. Good. Wait. This is my friend. L uh, let me have the pistol, because I mean, you could take whoever it is through sheer good looks and sure. muscle and you all. You could take him. You could take him. Just, I, I should have the pistol. Oh. Huh. Huh. When you put it that way. Uh, here, don't shoot yourself in the foot. <laughs> Funny, you should get your own show. Huh. Ah, shit! Hey, Twist, hey, shoot him, please! Man. No, you can't. Uh, yeah. Yes, you can. 
Okay, everybody, just calm down. Yeah. Okay, just move over there. Go yeah. on. Yeah. Let me say what I came to say. Say what you came to say. I'm here to tell you. Tell me. What you're up against being back on this mountain. Yeah. You should never have returned. Yeah. I don't know why you did after what happened last year. True. Hannah and Beth? Yeah, how could you know without being involved? Or responsible. You hold on to your horses. Yeah. I'll take kindly to you kids coming up here to my oh, mountain. Oh, I like him. Huh? I'm sure the Washingtons would be very surprised to hear that. <laughs> well, the mountain don't belong to me, it's true. But it don't belong to the Washingtons. This mountain belongs to the Wendigo. Ooh, ah. Who? Who? What's he talking about? What the hell's a Wendigo? Let's hear him out. Not like we have a choice. Now I'm only gonna Are tell you Are we just gonna keep once. the door open? It doesn't matter to me if you believe it or not. I got reasons I want to get it off my chest. See? How I come Mike you? is not with the other He's guy? guilty as shit. Guilty as something. Shut up, Mike. There is a curse that dwells in these mountains. Should any man or woman resort to cannibalism in these woods, the spirit of the Wendigo shall be unleashed. Who the fuck is eating people? Oh, crap. You're gonna need to find somewhere safe. The basement might be okay. Okay. Only one of Get those down things happened. Now, all of you, and wait. What? Why? For how long? Until dawn. It's like three hours. You should be fine. Guys, I ran off and left Josh when I heard screaming. Oh, there you go. Where did you leave him? In the shed. Uh, your friend will already be dead. No. No, he, he can't be. I, we, we were just with him. A lot can happen quickly on this mountain. No. I'm gonna go get him. You can't go out there, Chris. I'm supposed to be his best friend, and, and, and I let him down. No, he let you down, Chris. He let all of us down. I don't care. I'm going to get him. Then I'll go with you. Okay. I, I don't need your help. You going alone is suicide. Well, we did kind of make it this the entire game. Get down to the ourselves. basement. Be safe. And don't go outside again until we're back. Until then. You don't seem to understand the magnitude of the situation. Well, I'm going to get Josh, aren't I? No, I'm going to get Josh. You're going to help me. Do you understand? Uh, yeah, I think so. You need to follow me and do everything I tell you. Okay. He's the only guy I trust. I can't guarantee I'm gonna do well with QTs. Uh, I, I, I'm really bad at remembering where the square button is. This is the end. You point towards the thing you want to kill. I know how to use a shotgun, man. No, you don't. What? what do you how do you know? <laughs> Trust me, I know. If this guy watched me in the hey. very beginning, bro, do come not come. Safe. <gasps> oh, we need to hurry, son. I uh. See you soon. What? So, so, so tell me, you're the expert on these things. Can they shut both of the doors? Because I'm already uh, really worried. Just be ready to aim. Guy this guy's dead. You just be careful. You follow my lead. Chat, I gotta be real with you. I cannot aim on controller. So. Uh, especially if it's moving. How many times do I have to shoot it with the shotgun before it's dead? Well, you be shooting it a long time. You, you mean this thing won't even kill it? And I can't remember which one's No, it. and it'll slow it down. Well, how do you kill it? They don't like fire. I don't like fire. They fear it. And it can kill them, if you have to. See, their skin is like... It's like tough armor. Wait. Unless you... Is there a way to make it so it's not so sensitive, uh... I'm not going to do that, even though I want to. For the don't move. I don't know what that means. Oh, here we go. 
I'm putting that down to half. I, I have too much ADHD right now, to not first. be not be. <laughs> I have too much ADHD, bro. My meds are wearing off. This is this is death. Well, what, what are these things like? I mean, are they just crazy, unpredictable, or I mean, can you figure out what they're gonna do? Well, they adhere to some patterns, like any animal or human. Well, you mean like how? Like they've got schedules? Well, they only hunt at night. Oh. Why? I didn't ask. The, uh, pro Wendigo tips? Like if I rub garlic all over me, they won't be able to smell me or something? Oh, they'll still smell you. Anything like that. They can't see you if you're standing still. Oh. Just like toads. <laughs> Sight is based on changes of movement in their field of vision. I didn't so know if toads I don't move, like I, that. I'm, I'm basically invisible. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't recommend testing it out. Should I go Unless in you here? I have no other choice. Damn it! I don't really know if I should go in there if he's not going in there. Let's go back oh, and sit until the dawn. We're too late. Quiet. We gotta go. Right now. We gotta find Josh. He could still be out there. Nah, let's just go back. First, a Wendigo. He'll render you immobile. And then he strips the skin off of your entire body, piece by piece. And then he keeps you alive and aware and feast on your organs, one piece at a time. So we'll launch then. Yeah. Let's go now. It might still be near. Can I move? Uh, bro? Weaknesses are doors unlocked. Oh my god, guys, thank god. It took you so long. It's not so good up there right now. Understatement of the night. Chris, where's the flamethrower guy? Uh, yeah, he, uh... He didn't make it? No. What happened? The thing, it, uh, it tore him apart. Right in front of me. Oh, God. All right. Are these all the doors? Yeah. Are you sure? What are you looking for? Another way out. 
Mike, why? I really don't think that's a good idea. We should stay put right yeah. here until dawn. Agreed. At least we're safe down here. Oh, true. Yeah. All wrapped up like a little present with a bow on top for that thing to tear us apart on Christmas morning. People, what is it going to do in the morning? You don't sound so sure. That is what'll happen, right, Em? Yeah. I, I mean, right? Well, you can wait. I'm leaving. Mike, okay, there's no key for the cable car. Josh, he's got to have it. Josh? One of his dirty little tricks. Great. Great. That fucking thing got a hold of Josh. Then we're shit out of luck. I don't know, Mike. It's possible. What's possible? It may have taken him down to the mine. What? I saw some horrible stuff down there. I think it's where that thing lives, and... Huh. M? What? Fuck it. I'm gonna get that key right from all that right. thing's goddamn bedroom, and then I'm gonna get us all the hell out of here. Sure, Mike. You go down there. I don't care. Honestly, if and you die, I, I don't give a shit. So, that old guy's bag. Is that a map? <gasps> that guy was prepared for anything. <laughs> Not quite. What is this place? Oh, my God. Wait, wait, wait. What is that? I was down there. It was horrible. You were? You've been a cave in in the 50s, I guess, and these miners got trapped down there. Oh my God. Some of them survived, but like 15 of them didn't make it. There was this reporter, and I think he figured out there had been some like big cover up going on. <gasps> I found these plans. They knew the mine was a death trap, but they let the miners keep working anyway. This is everything and we learned. I'm not sure what it means, but I found this chair. Dried blood all over the place, like somebody had been tortured. Michael, I'd like to maybe focus on how we're going to get the fuck out of here, please. I'm just saying, it's weird how much crazy shit's gone on up here. What's weird is that there's a tunnel leading from the lodge to the sanatorium, see? That's how I got back here. I saw this when I was down there. That's where it lives. Um. Um, what is that? Huh? What is that? She's bleeding. Ash. Um, oh my god, oh my god, it's, oh my god. It's nothing, god. Oh, it just, no, it, it no, bit no. me and... It bit you? What bit you? The, the Wendigo. The what? It's nothing, really, it's not a big deal. You okay? Shit. It yeah. doesn't hurt anymore, really, it's, it's not that bad. Em, if that thing bit you... I, I know what you're thinking, and I'm fine. Are you? Sam? Yes, Emily, at least let us check it out. Emily, if the Wendigo bit you... You could turn into one of those things. Oh, he's ridiculous. He said it was from eating each other. Remember, he said oh, that. Is that how it works? Yes. It happens. If it bit you, you're going to turn into one, and then you're going to turn on us. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Eating each you other. down here with us. What? Mike. you got to go. Are you kidding me? You're putting us all in danger. I don't give a fuck on Mike. Emily. Yes. You can't stay here. Mike, just cool your head, okay? We don't know if it works like that. Maybe it's just a bite. I've seen what these fuckers can do. And I don't want to say it again. What is this? Guys, what are you doing? The door's right here. I am letting you do this voluntarily. Oh, no, you're just making yourself feel better about sending me to my death since you know there's a Wendigo out there ready to rip me to pieces. He's about like to leave didn't... anyway. Oh, Fuck oh off. Who God, cares? Go. Go. Get out of here. Whoa. Okay. Mike. Stop giving Mike a gun. This guy is just fucking shooting everyone. He wants to shoot this everyone. This is the safe room, M. Please. It is not safe as long as you're in it. Not for us. Are you restored? Don't do that. I'm really sorry. Bro! Not doing that. Fuck, I can't do this. Oh my god. You did the right thing. Get Mike out of here. Fuck Maybe. Mike, bro. For now. He doesn't even know what actually happens. They could lock her up in a different part of the wow. house. They it, could. There's literally a cage. Weird. He was in the cage. cage. Yeah. When he looked up the girl's uh, towel. Okay. 
It's not safe. Put her in the fucking cage if you're so Perfection. afraid. Are you are you really this stu Who cares? Why is he de facto smart or uh, de facto leader? Who gives a shit about Mike, bro? Mike's the one who went along with the Hey, look, it's still recording. That's creepy. You okay? All of this shit is still recording and they're just uh, not even caring about that? I thought that that he was gonna help us. Is a flamethrower, dude? Now we don't have a chance. No, guys, it just means we've gotta be tough. Wait, does he have internet? On our own. All they have to do is mm, uh I can. All they have to do is lock all the doors. Right? Lock all the doors, download Minecraft. It's Three hours goes by in, a, in like a second. But I didn't get to read any of that. Thanks. Uh, okay. Only a few men have dared to hunt the Wendigo. I am the only man who has ever uh, kept them under control. Heed these words or you should be your death. If, and your death will not be the last. Wendigo must be contained. Wendigo can grows out of cannibalism. When a human is desperate and craves food, trapped on a mountain, fears fierce winter storms, he has eaten nothing for days. The Wendigo spirit will begin to possess him, even if his strongest man is weak to it. He will kill without remorse, and often those companions who have traveled with him. He will eat the flesh of raw corpses. I have seen this happen many years ago, and craving flesh cannot be sa satiated. And then the change begins. The eyes turn, become milky and white, and the teeth become long, longer like fangs. The creature grows, and the skin pulled taut across the bones. Oops. Oh my. This journal is an account of the Wendigo. This creature is real and dangerous. If you are reading this, you have and you have questions, but I do not have answers. This is evidence from my own experience. Okay. Okay. Wonderful. There was a tribe that lived in the mountains called the Cree. The shamans tell the story of a tall creature born in There's ice. There's a lot of history to this. I'm reading. Thank you. The tribe respects the mountain and all the animals which live in it. The mountain became scared to, sacred to the Cree. Every animal became sacred as well. Oh, okay. The Cree believe it was bad luck to harm an animal on the mountain and would hurt uh, it and would hunt elsewhere. In 1830, I am dyslexic. In 1893, the miners arrived and they found tin and later traces of radium. They mined deep into the sacred mountain. The Cree say the mountain cried out and the spirit was released. What's wrong? The Wendigo changes... Wait. Oh. The Wendigo's eyes change. They become bold and sharper and more dim. The Wendigo sees movement. It's a hunter like a hawk. This says that because the Wendigos are mutated from humans, when they hunt us, they know how to perfectly mimic their prey. Like they were bit. <laughs> it's a hunter like a hawk, but cannot see stillness. If you keep totally still, then the Wendigo will not be able to take you. Why didn't they just st sit perfectly still when that Wendigo was coming after them? He said, run. Like, why did they run? And then he got his head chopped off because he, he lost like all of his ability. If you were to keep totally still, the Wendigo will not see you. The skin and flesh of the Wendigo are hard like armor. They seem to feel no pain. They cannot be cut or stabbed. Bullets will not pierce their skin, though a shotgun will keep them at bay. Because the Wendigo is mutated from a human, it knows how to hunt its prey perfectly mimic its prey. You must remain sharp and disciplined. I've killed six Wendigos. Knives or bullets will not harm them. I use a flamethrower, which is the best weapon. Fire envelops them, burns away their skin, and makes them weak. But try not to kill them. Killing a Wendigo should be the last resort. Death releases the Wendigo spirit into the air. I've contained them. I use traps to catch them. 
and fire to drive them into the cages. The traps were baited with human limbs from those who had no further use for them. One by one, that's why the trap was like that. Interesting. I, wow. Why didn't he uh, put him in like cages or some shit? The Wendigo's eyes, oh, oops. There may be more defenses. Shamans wrote of rituals. They have found native artifacts on the mountain and copied them. Totems and bunches of herbs and feathers. I copied the design and tested them. Out of the mountain, they work. They keep the Wendigo at bay. Not entirely, but enough. But inside buildings, they do not work. Cree legends say that the Wendigo grows from a bite of another Wendigo, but the bite is harmless. Uh... I've been bitten, but not changed. The only way is to eat flesh from another. There is no other way. Nice. <sighs> Woo. Um. Oh no 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 no. What? No. what It says that the bites, it, if it bites you, it's not infectious. It doesn't do anything. Let me see uh, that. I'm sorry, what did you say? Um, it says you'll be okay. It says what? You're gonna be fine. Fine? Michael almost shot me, is that he fine? He didn't shoot you. And this bitch almost let him. Hey, that's not fair, she was scared. I'm the one who's scared. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Emily. I didn't know what was going to happen. There's None of us know. There's no excuse. There's no excuse for this. Emily, please, just try to understand. Understand the palm of my hand, bitch. Oh! I'm sorry. I'm so, 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 so sorry. I mean, deserved. Shit. What? Shit, shit, shit. We've got to get the mic. Like, now. Why? I'm not going to Mike. I'm not going to Mike. Oh, Joshua, you should have listened to me. Because of your choices, people have died. I don't know which is worse, actively triggering events Why? that lead Let Mike to die. someone's death, or passively allowing a tragedy to occur. Because you couldn't lift a goddamn finger to help someone else. Remember last year? Yeah. Huh? How you left your poor sisters to die? I don't think you left You did nothing to help them. Paralyzed by your own self-centered fear while a real threat was closing in. No, it's all about you, Josh. It's always all about you. Your game has gone terribly wrong. And your friends, like your sisters, have deserted you. You're all alone. All right. Well, Can I you feel how Josh. cold your loneliness has become? Huh? If this guy's his therapist, no wonder he's fucking crazy. Why did you hurt them? Joshua, why did you hurt them? But of course you did. They were your friends, you misled them, you lied to them, and you put them through a night of genuine horror. But he didn't physically hurt them. Just a game? Well, I hope for your sake, Joshua, that you can find redemption. Okay. 